Okay, I built a little arm with a fan on it. This is about the biggest fan I can run from the little generator over here. And it, the, I put a big lever on it so that it could try and swing this thing around. But uh, even with the propeller on here or the turbine, it doesn't quite have enough um, thrust to make this rotate um, um, in, per in perpetuity. However, with the new turbine that I built, I don't need this arrangement, so that one's going to be scrapped. It's kind of ugly, and I just put these counterweights on here to, um, to hold it for now and try and balance everything, but it gets uglier as we put more stuff on here, so that's going to be gone. Um, it was a good experiment, and it almost has enough thrust to keep this running but it's not quite there. So this new turbine that I made is a little bit bigger and it's got ducting around the uh, blades but it's tricky to put it on because there's no clamp it's just relying on its own spring force so I have to get it over the connecting rod with this just a couple little grooves in the turbine there we go and then get it to clamp onto the flywheel like that and just check the clearance oh that's very close just about touching perfect so let's let's give it a shot okay I made a better turbine but it barely fits it's just grazing the piston and we'll just see if it uh, works any better it's going to have to get up to full speed in order to get enough thrust to turn this thing it's nowhere near full speed yet But it seems to be making it all the way around. Going uphill. Just barely making it over the hump. And maybe not. See if we can get coax a little more speed out of it. It may not be perfectly balanced either, so I'll have to work on that. But it is very close to being able to maintain a full rotary motion. So close. Oh, I think it made it over that hump. And even the last hump. So, just barely making it. But that's a, that's a win. It's actually rotating on its own. Give it one more pass through that hump. And it's got it. All right. Okay, I'm going to be running the Sterling engine with the vibration sensor on the end here. And we'll be running it fairly quickly. So we'll be able to see the vibration on the top trace and the microphone on the bottom trace, the yellow trace. And this is a baseline because we're going to try and increase the mass of the flywheel to see if it adjusts the uh, 
the amplitude of the vibration. So we're seeing about uh, 60 millivolts peak to peak here. And it's really ripping along right now. Now, let's add our little flywheel addition here. Okay, that's nice and tight. Let's see if we can't get this to be in the right spot so that it misses. Okay, so now it's down about 20 millivolts, so it's about 40 millivolts with the extra mass on the flywheel, which is a nice result. And these things actually give us a persistence of vision effect, so we can see what that looks like. Might be better with a black background. Oh, they turned off. And we're getting a nice waveform up there. It's sort of stabilizing it into a sine wave almost. Juice. 